This is no joke. NATO's uh, military exercises have now moved them into position where they are starting to encircle Europe. On this very map, ladies and gentlemen, you see from the millenniumreport.com through the Duran website, most if not all the major NATO groups and where their current positions were at least at one point or another. You have 2,500 Marines, of whose side I don't know, uh, off the coast of Australia, with increased troops presence near China. Uh, you have littoral combat forces, increased naval access, U.S. aircraft carriers near Afghanistan and Iran and Iraq and Syria and Libya. You have Aegis destroyers, BMD radars, Ukraine, Vagdad, BMD station, BMD radar, NATO's Baltic Missile Defense System, or BMD, BMD radar, U.S. Ohio-class submarines, Obama's Asia pivot strategy. I'm just going to move the bottom one real quick so I can read all this. Troop presence increasing to 28,500 just outside of China on Russia's doorstep, oddly enough. The U.S. Ohio class submarine with nuclear warheads waiting somewhere off the coast just above where China is. And it doesn't really show this, uh, I believe it would be northeastern corner. Um above where the A is, or in the A region, but I'm more than certain it's covered by some troop movements or another. So this is going to be a big deal, folks. I'm bringing you this from what looked to be like a good source. NATO begins encircling of Russia. This is no joke, folks. This is actually happening in one of their quote-unquote, military exercises. Oh, yes. This is actually happening. NATO begins encirclement of Russia, German troops to Lithuania. NATO prepares a ver veritable military buildup in Eastern Europe. German soldiers are operating in Lithuania. The British take over in Estonia. The U.S. soldiers move up from Latvia. The Canadians will be in Poland. Moving up, of course. Also in the Mediterranean, combat units are beginning to be increased. Russia perceives the activity as a threat, and but hasn't yet announced any countermeasures, or at least ones that we can put on paper. NATO summit during July 8th through 9th in Warsaw. The alliance will adopt massive military presence along Russia's border. Russia is classified by NATO as a threat. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg basically says that hmm, maybe I missed something. Well, anyways, basically says that uh, you know there's a lot of things going on in foreign soil. And basically, critics of this strategy uh, want a possible upgrade with increased significance to the danger of the conflict of superpowers. Wednesday in Brussels, Defense Ministry wanted the military alliance to take decisions which will then be sealed by the leaders of Poland. And NATO's want, or NATO wants to strengthen its military presence in the eastern border significantly and to uh, position foreign combat battalions in Poland and three Baltic states. Germany is is the core of the association of Lithuania, the British Estonia, and the United States is expected to be in, Lithu in Latvia. What remains unclear, however, is who will be sending troops to Poland. Maybe Canada will take the task 
It last reported from Polish diplomatic sources as quoted at, by Reuters. The summit in Warsaw will be President Obama's last NATO summit, and the U.S. wants it to be a success. It will ensure that fourth framework country is found, possibly by leaning on Canada. The source said Washington will bend over backwards here. Germany will be sending 600 soldiers to Lithuania, which will constitute the core location of the battalion with 1,200 troops. Battalions are to include 1,000 troops each and are now permanently stationed in eastern countries, but placed regularly by the means of rotation by military alliances to avoid formal breach of NATO-Russia founding Act 1997. Now, this little number is what I showed you in the beginning. Shows you all the troop movements. I've already gone through it, so I'm not going to go through it again. You can see all of the ones there. Yeah, I know it did sound like I kind of cut off a little bit, but I copied these as I would anything else. And this one basically says that the NATO alliance is looking for a new combat mission in the Mediterranean. Uh, as the September 11, 2001 NATO Response Active Endeavor patrolled the Mediterranean to stop terrorists, there has actually become obsolete. The ministers, therefore, want to consider whether the mission should be transformed into a general one to strengthen security in the Mediterranean. You guys get the idea there. And basically, the agenda on Wednesday will include future of NATO mission in Afghanistan. Yada, 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 9,800 to 5,500 troops will be stationed. Whether Obama will hold the objectives despite the poor security situation in Afghanistan is yet to be cleared or considered. So what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? We have NATO starting to encircle Russia. This is real, folks. Canada, the United States, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, Germany, along with probably two or three partnered countries each are involved in this. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that this is going to end up being a drill that ends up getting called off, but these guys look like they're going in, folks.